Starting 6 o'clock Wednesday morning, Salerno Duane can resume in-person vehicle sales after weeks of a shuttered showroom, lost revenue, and laying off 50 of its 70 employees. It's almost as if the governor heard Duane's plea to NJTV News moments before his reopening announcement. We are going to have to lay off people that we hired back because there simply is not enough business to keep them. Um, in fact, uh, we would have to open pretty soon, like this week, in order to get the flow starting again and get people comfortable with coming back to a showroom. Duane says his business follows guidelines to sanitize the dealership and practice social distancing. Those are among the actions a new report says all New Jersey businesses can do to reopen. A Morris Chamber of Commerce task force concluded we can control the risk of exposure to the virus sufficiently to allow us to restart the economy and get our citizens back to work. The task force of hygienists, toxicologists, and occupational health professionals assess risk factors for more than 300 business categories and determines 80 percent of industries have either a minimal or moderate risk score and can easily apply mitigation procedures to get back to work quickly. 15 percent, such as grocery stores that never close, will need to do more to ensure they open safely. Another 5 percent will operate safely by using medical grade mitigation procedures. So why are we still in this mode where most of the businesses remain closed? Well, it, I think because no one has really looked at it from a risk standpoint, you know, everything has been done um, in a crisis mode. Um, and, you know, there's some good reason for that, um, that when healthcare care uh, was first starting to uh, address some of the issues, people were concerned that this would be a tidal wave. Um, the crisis is over when it comes from a health care approach. I think it proves um, pretty convincingly that uh, most of our economy should be reopened by now and that people can go back to work safely. The task force report aims to give the Murphy administration a much different view of how to restart New Jersey's economy and on a much more broad scale and much sooner before businesses are driven out of business. Governor Murphy says he has not seen the report, but he said this. We're, we're trying to manage risk here as well. Uh, and so I applaud them for their efforts, but I would also remind them that there's one binding uh, set of rules of the road, and it's ours. Uh, and that has been the case, and that will be the case. So we, we move as one state. Uh, we don't move uh, as good as their plan might be. And by the way, maybe we'll learn something from it. By the way, I'm always looking to learn. The New Jersey Business and Industry Association is looking for a better way to assess how quickly to restart the state's economy. There is a look forward plan right now with phasing in. But we don't have targets on any of the metrics, so we don't know what we're looking at. You know, what is the magic number of decrease in hospitalization or, or the other of the four factors? So the governor put out four factors, which is important, but we don't understand what the targets are. If you look at something like the New York plan, they have metrics that have targets. The other thing is we need an assessment tool for business to understand where they fall in the vulnerability of risk. The more these numbers drop, the more confidence we will have that we are ready to move from stage one to stage two of our restart and we can begin planning for more business reopenings. We purposely have not married ourselves to dates because we don't want to give any false hope. We've purposely married ourselves, however, to the data. Michael Hill, NJTV News.